Hello guys, welcome again to our YouTube channel. My name as usual is Daniel from the Okemo Empire. Today I want us to discuss about uh, the reality of the big cars and the heavy cars uh, most Americans drive. Let's have a talk on these cars that you see on the roads, all on movies, most of the Americans driving. The reality on the ground is that most of those cars that you see, which are big and heavy, they should not scare you. Here in the United States, owning a car is not a big problem. Most of those cars that you see on the roads, which you admire, of every model and type, most of them are on loans. Here, the process of obtaining bank loan is not so difficult and strenuous as in those countries where we come from. Here, as long as you can be able to prove that you have a good credit, credit score of over 750 and you also prove that you'll be able to pay for this uh, car loan and you have a proof that you have a stable source of income that you produce uh, your paychecks showing that you are employed somewhere and they are assured that you will be able to meet your financial obligations you will not be having problems to own a car of whatever type that you want as long as from your paychecks and your income they will be able to calculate and see that you are able to repay this uh, car loan in a monthly basis so those are some of the things that they look at and if you qualify you get now to own a heavy and big car if you wish to have one so here getting a car is so easy because i've said that the loans are flexible and the guarantee or guarantors are not supposed to have so many of them like in other countries here you guarantee yourself you are the guarantor and your pay slip is the surety that you will be able to pay this uh, loan so what you need in this case is to go to the dealer, select the car that you want, or you pick a car that you want, and you start negotiating about it. They will give you their uh, quotation over the car. The amount it goes when you pay in cash, and the amount that you will be able to pay when you buy that car on loan then after that they will always request if you are able to give a down payment and the down payment in this case is important the more amount of money you put down as your down payment the better for you in your monthly repayment so for example if you put down like uh, five or ten thousand us dollar as down payment and the car was going for thirty thousand us dollars in this case your monthly repayment will be very low compared to someone who had no down payment and decided to go buy the car with what they call zero 
down payment. So in this case, the choice will be yours. If you decide that you have to pay something small for this car, it will reduce your the repayment amount. And if you decide to go for zero down payment, you also need to decide. Also, for those ones who have been having a good history in terms of credit payment, in this case, there are easily given a car to someone who is new, more especially immigrants, who have never been have, having a good credit history. So that's why you get most of the immigrants at the initial stages, getting a car loan is not easy. You have to struggle for some few months to build at least the starting point of a credit. That's 250, 300 points. So that's when you may be considered for a good car from the dealer. And the steel, because you are new, the car, all the loan from the bank, they're going to charge you a higher interest rate compared to someone who has been having a good credit and a good credit history. So those are some of the things that make some of us or some of you will make some of you not to own a car immediately you come to the United States. So never see someone driving a heavy, big car and you get scared. If you decide to have one, you will not have issues as long as you build your good credit, you have something for down payment and at the same time, you have a good credit history. Those are some of the few things that they will look at before they give you the car. Everyone here who is willing to own a car will always have the car. And like most of the countries where people will come from, owning a car is meant for those people who are employed in good jobs or who have good money here as long as you are able to repay for the car that you want you will be given the car so that's why i decided today to share with you the reality of the big cars that you see on the roads that may scare you that how come this person a is able to own such a big car so guys get it from me and if you do research you get to understand it's normal and you are able to get a car of whichever whichever type that you want thank you guys for watching us keep uh, coming back for the all subscribers and those ones who have not subscribed please consider subscribing to our youtube channel and by so doing you make us grow like our videos make comments and youtube will read many of those viewers thank you guys